Is event photography even creative? No, but yeah, but kind of no. It comes down to this. If you're an event photographer, you have to remember that you are providing a service. You are doing that creatively, but you are not creating, which is very different. Creating means something coming from within entirely. That's your art. And when you're shooting an event, you are, it's not your art. And if you think it's your art, you are going to have a lot of problems. The first one is that if you feel like your event photography is your art, you are going to be overly invested in and tied to the work. Meaning any criticism of the work you will take personally. It will be attacking you as a person opposed to attacking the product you've delivered. And I know that might sound similar to some people, but it is entirely different. When I first started out as an event photographer, I stopped creating for myself because it became my job. Because of that, I put everything only into work. And if I received criticism, not about my work often, but like any little setback felt very personal. And you want to avoid that. Another thing, you have to understand what the parameters are for how creative you can be even. Now, if you really like editing and stylizing your images, well, honestly, that doesn't really have a place in event photography. If you overly stylize your image for, let's say, a corporate client that is going to use those photographs on their Instagram account, or maybe they're only using it for in-house kind of, this is how the event went, internal use only, they are not going to want something that's not very accurate to what it looked like, and they're not going to want a product that will not fit in with the rest of the images on their Instagram account. So if you're thinking, I'm really, I get my artistic expression off by stylizing my images, that's really not what your job is going to be as an event photographer. When it comes to composition, you're going to be pretty much erring toward conventional for the most part. There's no way to give an exact percentage, but I would estimate that something like 90 to 95% of your work should be pretty standard. Now, pretty standard does not mean boring, but there is a proper way to properly photograph, for example, a conference where you have two, three, or four, five people on stage. That's not really the place to break the mold entirely. But if 90-95% of your images are standard and getting the images your client will definitely use and need, then I do think there is some leeway for you to get a little bit more creative. Now it's going to depend also on the type of event as far as what those parameters are. If you're photographing like an edgy brand, a brand activation, and uh, they want and they specifically request something a little bit more exciting, then you have a lot more latitude. But if, again, you're back to the old boring conference, you're delivering a product there and it should be pretty much straightforward. So let's talk about some ways you can be creative in your event photography without going too far off the trail. And that would be one, your lighting setups, for example. But here's the thing, here's the rub on that is really like, if you understand the job, your job isn't to create really flashy like no pun intended, but really flashy, creative like images. Because if you're doing that, if you're doing too much of that, you're getting less coverage. And I think your number one goal should be to get maximize your coverage. Now, if you're not there yet where you can maximize your coverage and still be really creative, I think you need to understand your priorities. Your priority should be getting great coverage. Your second priority should be getting great coverage as creatively as you can. So what do you get out of event photography as a creative? I think that's another good question to ask because a lot of people, not all people, some people see photography, professional photography as a means to make some extra income. And I think probably most see it as something they absolutely love to do because they want to be creative. And then they think secondarily, like maybe I can make some money doing it. So the question then is, how can you, why do event photography if you want to be creative? And there's a lot of reasons. I've talked about it before. One, it's creative in an entirely different way. It's not creating, again, like something I'm coming up with a concept and blah, blah, blah. There's parameters set for me. I'm going to do it as creatively as I can with my own creative voice. I did talk a lot about you're delivering like a package, a product, but my product isn't going to look like every other photographer's product. I do have a style I work in. Now, that style is not arbitrary, meaning I'm not adding filters or over editing my work, but I have a 
approach, a style in that sense. I have a certain thing I'm looking for that does end up getting expressed in my work. So my values, what I care about, what I want to document is expressed in my work. So let's say you are the creative type and you just love photography and you wanted to do something creative. Two things I think are important for creative types and that is one, I think personally you should separate what you do for work with your own art. Having done that, you can just focus on event photography for what it is. Now two, how is event photography creative and why should you even choose it? And I can only talk about why I chose it and I can tell you what's creative about it that go well beyond just um, the style of your work, that kind of thing. I personally chose event photography because it, the answer, by the way, this is gonna be the answer for both. I chose event photography because I very much did not want my professional work to be my personal work. Now I do love street photography, which is pretty much the same skill set. And, but it didn't matter, that's not the point. The point is I needed to re-pursue because I took a pause, I, made a, uh, I took a break on creating for myself. I needed to re-pursue my artwork in order to separate the two. Once I did that, I was able to see my work for what it is. Once I've done that, I really thought about what kind of work do I want to do and why. And I chose event photography because event photography is actually the least in, requires the least investment out of me personally. I personally see things in sort of an emotional currency rather than financial or time currency, time too. But I would say emotional than time is what matters to me. And what I mean by that is event photography, when I go, when it comes to the emotional currency, um, I go, I'm a fly on the wall for the most part. I'm not afraid to interact with people, so I have a good balance. Um, it's a quick edit. It's easy to deal with clients. You don't have to meet with them a ton before you actually book the job. Often you get like a few emails, that's it. And you shoot the job, you do the edit, you're done. And that frees me up to focus on other things. Now, other types of jobs, maybe if you're a commercial photographer, will require more time, possibly more emotional currency, uh, etc. Wedding photography certainly will, can require an emotional currency because it re will require a lot more hands-on with the client, um, a lot more back and forth, that kind of thing. And when you're at the job, you're kind of running the show in a lot of ways because you're doing a lot more posed portraits, that kind of thing. Um, so what is creative about event photography then? And for me, it's that I show up and I get to be present. It's a different type of creativity. It's the creativity of emptying your mind, being sort of an empty vessel, a skilled one that knows what to do. You just go into autopilot and you're creating, being creative with the solutions to the problems in front of you, which is really fun for me. Um, I think very little in a way, consciously, as an event photographer. I'm kind of 95% just subconscious actions and then maybe 5% thinking, oh, what should I, should I do this now? Or should I change my lens? And why would I change my lens? But not much of it. If you're a new photographer, I hope that gives you some insight into if event photography is creative, if it's right for you, etc. If you're an experienced event photographer, I would love to hear your take on event photography. So place that in the comments below. Thank you for watching.